hope that you've been doing well. Today I'm so excited to be sharing this paint with me with you because it's a collaboration with Anna. She's a wonderful artist and she started her YouTube channel a few months ago and I just love watching her videos at the end of the day with a cup of tea to relax. They've just been such a great source of inspiration for me and her paintings are just wonderful so I'm really really excited to be collaborating with her on this video and painting and we essentially decided to paint each other's reference pictures so I took some pictures for her to paint and she did the same for me and I find that sometimes it can be really hard to find new things that seem interesting to paint so I found it really cool to paint something that someone else had picked that they thought I would like to paint as well and she told me um, kind of explaining the reason behind these pictures was that she really liked a painting that I did back in January of some perfume bottles it was a still life with three different perfume bottles and like a mirror underneath and pearl necklaces and it that was just a lot of glass reflection and it was very interesting to paint for me and she told me that she really liked it so she also included some perfume bottles in her reference pictures so she could see me paint those again and I was so happy to be painting these I haven't painted much like reflective and glass objects in the past month but I found that it was something that I really really enjoyed painting in the Stradizel challenge so I was really happy to be painting these again and I feel like it's something I've, I've really gotten to enjoy doing it was really challenging in the beginning and it still is and I feel like most painting subjects no matter how many times you've painted them before they always bring a new challenge to the table each time you sit down to paint and I think every painting has something to teach you but now with this subject I have a better idea of how to approach it so it's less challenging in that sense and it's more kind of about the details and how I can, I don't know, manipulate colors in a certain way to make the object look re reflective, but I have a general idea of how to approach the subject, if it makes any sense. I always feel like it's really hard to explain these kinds of things when it comes to painting, but then when I hear other artists explaining them the same way, I'm like, no, I, I get it, you know? So um, I hope that was clear enough, but I, what I really struggled with in this piece were the flowers. They were looking so beautiful in the pictures and I love the colors and the details. And you might have noticed that I tend to have a very loose approach to painting. I generally start with larger brush strokes and I try to establish the main tones and colors first before I go in with the details almost at the very end. And I think I got a bit overwhelmed at first and kind of started to define things too much from the start which in the end of this first painting session just resulted in a really dull and kind of messy look because I was trying to do too much and it's just not a, a painting approach that I am comfortable with and it's not what I generally do I it's not something that I'm very knowledgeable in I suppose and I also think I was trying to paint these really lovely bright flowers with my usual muted down palette and it wasn't until later when I actually went back in to fix it that I realized it and then actually started using cadmium yellow and cadmium red light I believe to mix the colors for the flowers which I don't normally use I generally tend to stick with cadmium red deep and yellow ochre for a more muted kind of less bright colors which is my usual color palette but i just feel like it's not something that this particular painting was calling for And I don't think it's quite as evident at this stage in the painting. I think if I'd left it kind of like this and kind of maybe define just the perfumes a bit more, it could have worked. But you'll see in a minute that I start going in with darker details for the flowers, just like I'm doing right now, trying to define single petals. And what I ended up doing was just kind of mudding up the colors and 
they the flowers essentially lost their shape and you can see i've just brushed one off like with my towel to try to fix things and it just painting is a lot of back, going back and forth kind of trying to figure out what you did wrong and what you have to fix but in this case i just got to the point where i was like okay no this is not working i really need to let everything dry before i can go in and actually fix things properly. You can see it really well in these shots, just how dull the colors were looking. At this point, I just decided to set the painting aside for a couple of days to let it dry. And in the meantime, I did some studies in my sketchbook. And this is not something that I see artists talk about very often, but studies are so, so useful. And I don't have a lot of experience painting flowers. And so I was struggling to understand how to paint them because I just didn't know how to approach the subject. So I did a couple of studies from the other references that Anna had sent me to kind of get a better idea of what colors I should use and what steps I should take in order to paint these subjects effectively. And I found these really helpful and it's definitely a subject that I will have to keep practicing. But once I was done with these and went back to the original painting, I had a much better idea of what needed to be fixed and how I could fix that. And you can see that immediately I am going in with a much brighter yellow that I hadn't used before. And generally just trying to bring these back to life. I feel like they were looking very flat and very similar tones. So nothing was really standing out the way that it should have. And the way that it was in the perfume bottles, for example, there I had a lot of contrast between darker areas and lighter values. Whilst in the flowers, it all ended, pretty much ended up just being one similar tone so nothing was standing out and there wasn't really a sense of depth and so i was really trying to focus on bringing back that contrast to make the flowers stand out more but with that being said we are nearing the end of the video so i really hope you enjoyed watching this painting process it was a very interesting one for me to paint and something that i feel like i learned a lot from so don't forget to check out anna's painting video i will leave the link in the cards and in the description below she is a wonderful artist as i said so go show her some love and with that being said i'm going to wish you a lovely week and i hope to see you soon with a new video bye